Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out bedtime story? Good, because you're in for a treat tonight. That's right, with the book called Boot and Shoe by Marley Frazee, a two-time Caldecott on a medalist. Once upon a time, Boot and Shoe were born into the same litter and now they live in the very same house. They eat dinner out of the same bowl. They pee on the same tree. At night, they sleep in the same bed. But Boot spends his days on the back porch because he's a back porch kind of dog. And Shoe spends his days on the front porch because he's a front porch kind of dog. This is exactly perfect for both of them. Then one day, for no apparent reason, a squirrel started some trouble. It chattered at Boot. It chattered at Shoe. It threw stuff at Boot and it threw stuff at Shoe. And then it got all up in Boot's business and it got all up in Shoe's business too. Woo! Something had to be done. So Boot and Shoe chased the squirrel all over the place. They chased it and chased it and chased it until... until he got bored and walked away. Boot collapsed. Shoe collapsed too. When Boot opened his eyes, he saw that he was on the front porch. He looked around for Shoe. Shoe should be here, but he wasn't, oh no. When Shoe opened his eyes, he saw that he was on the back porch. He looked around for Boot. Boot should be here, but he wasn't. Boot searched the front porch for Shoe. He looked under things, over things, around things, and between things. No luck. Shoe searched the back porch for Boot. He looked under things, over things, around things, and between things. No luck for him either. Boot decided to station himself at the front porch and wait there until Shoe found his way back. And Shoe decided to station himself on the back porch and wait until Boot found his way back. It was a long, lonely afternoon. When it was dinner time, Boot's stomach rumbled, but he didn't want to eat dinner without Shoe. Shoe's stomach rumbled too, but he didn't want to eat dinner without Boot. It was a long, hungry evening. At bedtime, Boot was shivering, but he didn't want to get in bed without Shoe. And Shoe was shivering too, but he didn't want to get in bed without Boot. Once during the night, Boot walked slowly around to the back porch to see if Shoe was there. And Shoe walked slowly around to the front porch to see if Boot was there. But no look again. So Boot ended up back on the front porch waiting for Shoe and Shoe ended up back on the back porch waiting for Boot. It was a long, sleepless night. The sun came up. On the front porch, there was still no sign of Shoe. Boot began to cry. On the back porch, there was still no sign of Boot and Shoe began to cry too. But even... In the worst of times, a dog still needs a pee. Boot dragged himself over to the tree. Shoe dragged himself over to the tree too. And suddenly... (laughs) Lo and behold, there they were again, overjoyed to see each other. Overtired too. So... Even though the day was just beginning, Boot and Shoe decided that the exact 
perfect thing for both of them to do was go right to bed together. Of course. The end of Boot and Shoe by Marla Frazee. Here on the Lights Out Podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls and best friend doggies around the world. Good night.